Hi guys, Sandra here of the blog with SensibleMom.com and today I'm going to share a large family grocery haul with you. This time my husband went to three stores. He went to Trader Joe's, Meyer, and Jewel and I'm going to show you guys what he brought home and then stay tuned because after the grocery haul I'm going to show you guys a quick refrigerator, freezer, and pantry tour so that I, you can see so that you can see what those places look like once I put the groceries away. I like to do that every few months here on my YouTube channel and then after that I'm going to show you guys just a few products a few health and wellness products that my family has been using and really loving they are really fabulous products I'm going to show you guys a few of those and then finally I am going to show you guys the new phonics curriculum that I'll be using to homeschool my son David this year it's a really fantastic curriculum and I'm excited to share about it so all of those things are coming up in this video it's going to be a fun one but first let's get started with the grocery haul Okay, so first up, my husband spent right around $120 at Trader Joe's and he brought home two boxes of these organic mini sandwich crackers. And now we only buy these a few times a year because even though they're organic, they're obviously not very healthy for you. So we don't buy them a whole lot, but my kids love them. So we like to get these as snacks for them a few times a year. And they're gonna be really excited when they see these in the pantry. And then he also picked up some potatoes for meals and then uh, he picked up seven bags of popcorn for me because you guys know I love my popcorn and I'm almost out so he picked up seven bags and then he picked up four bags of the Trader Joe's mozzarella cheese. This is really great quality cheese and we really love it. So he picked up four bags today because we're going to be making we're going to be making homemade pizzas. And so he also picked up some pepperoni for our homemade pizzas. Trader Joe's has the best quality pepperoni and um, it's better than the other kind that we get at Meyer sometimes. So if we can, we try to get it from Trader Joe's. And so he picked up two packs today and then he picked up four cans of our favorite whipped cream and he brought home some organic peppermints. These are really fantastic. We like to keep these in the car and they last forever. We probably only have to buy them like once or twice a year and we really love them from Trader Joe's. And then he picked up three jars of salsa because Trader Joe's carries our favorite salsa. And then he picked up two bags of breaded chicken and we'll probably just use these for like chicken tacos or whatever. And then he picked up one bag of hash browns for a quick side for uh, breakfast or if we do like a breakfast for dinner or something like that. And he picked up a bag of tater tots for also um, to also use as a quick side. And then he grabbed some mandarin oranges for snacking on and some avocados, which we'll probably use for tacos. And he grabbed some green onions. These will be used to garnish our homemade vegetable chili. We're gonna be making some of that. So that's what the green onions will be used for. And then um, we recently bought some of this Black Forest ham from Trader Joe's and we really loved it. It's really great quality ham. So today he picked up three packs. And then my daughter Elizabeth was really excited when she saw these. My husband picked up some strawberries, so we will be enjoying those very soon. They're adorable. What do you want, Elizabeth? Strawberries. Strawberries. Elizabeth came downstairs with... What's not, what's not all those green things? Huh? With none of those green things here. Are oh, you going to take... Yeah. Because those are... But, uh, that a big one? It looks like it's a big one. Yeah. That's a big one, Mom. Probably. It looks like really it's. Tell. It looks like it's stick together, right? Yeah. It looks like a heart. <gasps> so neat. See, Mom, it has a lower down, up again, lower down, up again. Yeah. It looks like a heart. Yeah. And then you guys know, just like the popcorn, we buy a lot of pasta and we love to eat pasta in our family. So he picked up some spaghetti, he picked up six packs of spaghetti and then two packs of this fusilli pasta. And then finally he picked up two bags of penne pasta. So these are the groceries my husband brought home from Trader Joe's. Now I'm gonna show you what he picked up from Meyer. 
Okay, so my husband spent right around $120 at Meyer, and he picked up three gallons of Ice Mountain bottled water. Now we've been buying a lot less bottled water ever since we started using the Zero Water Pitcher. I, start, I shared about the pitcher in a previous grocery haul, and I will have that video linked down below if you're interested in checking that out. But it has been wonderful to buy less bottled water. So today he only picked up three gallons, and then he also grabbed two loaves of bread, which which we'll use for lunch meat sandwiches, peanut butter and jellies, and then also for BLTs. And he picked up a pack of hamburger buns. These will be used for BLTs in addition, in addition to some of this bread here. And then for snacking on, he grabbed some of these delicious looking raspberries. And we are gonna be making pizzas, I mentioned that. And along with the pepperoni pizzas, we are also going to be making veggie pizzas. So I picked up some mini Bella mushrooms for the veggie pizzas, as well as some sweet peppers and some pizza sauce. He picked up two jars of pizza sauce. And then I like to use different types of flour when I make pizzas, but my favorite type of flour to use when I make uh, the pizza dough is bread flour. So I just went ahead and had him get some today. So I picked up some bread flour because we're all out. And then he picked up several bunches of bananas for snacking on or for smoothies. And he picked up some lettuce and tomatoes for our BLT sandwiches and to use in whatever other recipes I happen to use those in. He grabbed some lemons as well. And then he grabbed two dozen eggs and a couple of jalapenos. I mentioned that we're gonna be making vegetarian chili and so we like to put jalapenos in the chili. It really adds a delicious flavor and it doesn't make the chili too spicy. So that's what these will be used for. And we're running a little low in olive oil, so I picked up some of that. And then he picked up five jars of our favorite Meyer brand pasta sauce. And now over here we've got some butter. And now I didn't ask my husband to bring home two packs, but thankfully he did. I had just put butter on the list and he picked up two. And I'm happy he did because I'm gonna be making some homemade cookies for my family. And then I'm also thinking about making a pie because I've got some shortening in the refrigerator that needs to be used up. And I will use the shortening in addition to some butter and some other ingredients to make a homemade pie crust for a delicious homemade pie. So I'm probably, probably gonna be doing that as well. So it's great that he brought home two packs. And then he picked up four of these cucumbers. And what we'll do with these is just peel them and slice them and um, sprinkle some lemon and some Himalayan pink salt over those and eat them just like that. And then like I said, we'll be making some homemade vegetarian chili. So my husband picked up some tomato juice for that. And we will use this entire jug in the chili. And then right here, he grabbed three packs of bacon for our BLT sandwiches. And then finally, he picked up five bags of tortilla chips because we love our tortilla chips. So he picked up uh, these regular uh, pure sea salt tortilla chips and then a couple of bags of these chili lime tortilla chips. And then finally, just two bags of regular salted tortilla chips. So these are the groceries my husband brought home from Meyer. Now I'm gonna show you what he picked up from Jewel. Okay, so for right around $20 at Jewel, my husband picked up some of these delicious looking peaches as well as some of these sunflower seeds. Now these will be for him and then whenever he's eating them, usually one or two of my kids likes to join him so they will have those. And then he picked up a pack of hot dog buns. These will be used for the bratwurst that you guys see right here. He picked up two packs of these Johnsonville, Johnsonville Naturals original bratwurst. We actually tried these recently and we really liked them so he grabbed two today. And he also picked up some Italian sausage this sausage will be used in spaghetti sauce. So I'm gonna go ahead and slice up the sausage, cook it, add it, add the spaghetti sauce, and then, um, then we'll have it with spaghetti. And that's how I grew up eating spaghetti. My mom would always use Italian sausage, slice it up and put it in the sauce for us. So uh, it'll be nostalgic when we eat this. And then um, he also picked up some more crackers for the vegetarian chili. And finally, as just a fun treat, he 
picked up some Minute Maid fruit punch and some of this Fuse iced tea. As you can see, um, some of my family members have already started drinking the iced tea. And um, you guys may have noticed that this grocery haul has more convenience foods than my usual grocery hauls. And that is because this month is going to be insanely busy and crazy i'm not going to share why that is just yet but you guys will find out why in uh, later videos and you'll understand all about why um this month is just going to be so busy for us so anyway this is what my husband brought home from jewel and now i'm going to show you guys a quick refrigerator freezer and pantry tour all right so first i'm going to show you guys my freezer here it is and as you can see we've got a couple of ice trays right here and then there are the hash browns and then back there in the back is the breaded chicken and right here we've got the bratwurst and the italian sausage and right here we've got a lot of frozen fruit for smoothies and then over here we've got some leftover frozen french fries and then the tater tots from trader joe's and then the freezer door is here and it is pretty bare. All we've got stored here are ice packs. So this is the freezer. Now let's take a peek at the refrigerator. All right, so here is a look at the refrigerator. And as you can see, we've got quite a bit more food here. So I'm just gonna take you on a little tour. Right here we've got leftover mashed potatoes and gravy from dinner yesterday. And then over here we've got some rice milk and back there we've got some almond milk. Right here is our favorite zero water pitcher. And then over here we've got ice mountain bottled water. And right here are the raspberries and the strawberries that you guys saw in my grocery haul. I put them in these Rubbermaid Freshworks Produce Savers. These are fantastic because they help to keep your produce fresh for up to 80% longer. They've got uh, this something called Fresh Vent Technology. There's actually a filter in here and it never needs to be replaced and it just creates the optimal environment for your produce which is fantastic now i didn't fit all of the strawberries in this one but thankfully elizabeth was more than ready to have her share of strawberries so i went ahead and cut some up and gave some to her and then i put the ones that looked really nice and pretty in here and then the ones that um, came in the package that unfortunately didn't look so good or were already starting to mold i just tossed out into the garbage but um all the all the nice looking produce went in here and uh, thankfully these rubbermaid freshworks produce savers are going to keep the produce fresh which is fantastic so i'm excited about those and now right here we've got a bunch of cheese <laughs> as you can see And then right here we've got some eggs and then there's the bacon and then more eggs down here and tortillas and the pepperoni and we've got the lunch meat here and then back there is some coconut and now I'll show you guys the drawers with the veggies here we go we've got the green onions and the peppers and the mushrooms and the lemons in this drawer and over here we've got the jalapenos and the and the lettuce and the cucumbers and now here's a quick look at the door as you can see, we've got some shortening in here that I talked about and some extra butter. And over here, we've got the butter and hot sauce and some other odds and ends. We've got barbecue sauce, syrup, ketchup on that shelf. And right here, we've got some salsa, extra, this leftover spaghetti sauce and some strawberry spread from Costco. Right here, we've got some jelly and some barbecue sauce. And then down here, we've got our special drinks and our whipped cream. And then back up there, we've just got some extra ketchup packets. So this is the refrigerator. Now let's take a quick look at the pantry. All right, so here is the pantry. And on the top shelf, we've got the tortilla chips and the mini, mini sandwich crackers as well as some crackers and some other foods that you guys have seen in my other videos and then here is a look at the next shelf we've got some more crackers there and then some things for baking and some other odds and ends 
Here's the next shelf and I couldn't fit I couldn't fit all of the tortilla chips up on the top shelf so I've got this bag here. It'll be gone soon so right now it's sticking out but that's fine it'll be gone very soon. And then on this shelf we've got bread and buns and some brown sugar and some uh, some of the um, beans that we'll use for the vegetarian chili and spices and all that. And then down here on this shelf we've got salsa and pizza sauce and lots of pasta and more bread and then the potatoes and then finally down here we've got vinegar and then i'll pull this bin out here in this bin we've got spaghetti sauce and then we've also got the tomato juice and then there's like tomato sauce in here uh pumpkin some canned pumpkin and extra honey and agave nectar and things like that so that is what is in this bin so this is the pantry and now I'm going to show you guys some fabulous health and wellness products that my family has been using. All right, so here are the health and wellness products that I will be sharing about today. And I'm going to start off with these Zaylor Cadaphilus Plus Probiotics. Now my kids have been taking these for a few weeks and they love them. I'm actually surprised that they like them so much, but they do. Even my super picky child likes them and that makes me really happy. He, These are actually uh, berry flavored, which probably does help. So my kids will ask for these during the day um, or if I remember I'll go ahead and have them go get the bottle for me and I'll give them one or they will remember right before bedtime when they remember everything that they have forgotten to do that day and um, I'll give them one before bedtime I'm totally fine with doing that as well so they have been taking these and loving them and if you um, want to see what they look like let me go ahead and show you one so here's a Cadophilus Plus probiotic and it is chewable, which is great for kids. And now these probiotics work quickly to help suppress the growth of potentially harmful bacteria. They improve immune function, which is fantastic. And then they also enhance the protective barrier of the digestive tract. All of those things are incredibly important. So I am thrilled that my kids are taking these. And now one more thing about these probiotics before I move on. If you're interested in getting some for your children, I will have a link to them down in the description box below as well as a coupon code. All right, next I want to talk to you guys about this children's Genexa organic medicine. Now Genexa has a whole line of organic medicines, but this is the one that we tried is called Cold Crush and we love this stuff because it actually works. We had two times in the last month where we were outside of the house at some pretty germy places and even though we used a lot of hand sanitizer, I actually carried two bottles of hand sanitizer around in my purse and then even though we washed our hands several times, Times. the next day or two after we got back from those places we started to feel sick we started to feel um, sore throats coming on and one of my kids had uh, sinus issues and then we had lots of sneezing going on and so both times we took cold crush and it knocked it right out it knocked the sickness right out and when I say we I took some too because I didn't have anything else in the medicine cabinet for myself so I took this along with my kids and it worked um, we didn't get sick and it knocked out whatever was trying to take hold in our bodies so I cannot recommend this stuff enough it is just fantastic and um, another reason that I love it is because my kids will actually take it without issues even my super picky child that has issue that has had issues with other homeopathic medicines that we've brought into the house in the past he will take this no problem as you can see the pills are quite small and they are flavored and um, they are chewable and he has no issues taking it and will actually ask for more later on if he's still not feeling well um, he'll ask from you know he'll ask if it's time for him to take some more and um, so I, that just makes me so happy because uh, when we get sick as a family of seven, it can take one or two months for that sickness to get through like everybody in our family. And so it, I, I just try to avoid sickness um, at all costs. And so I have no problem spending a little bit of money out of pocket to get something like cold crush so that, um, so that we, we're not like, you know, down for the count 
for uh, one or two months. And uh, I think that's totally worth it. So this is a fantastic medicine. It works for our family. We only have like five of these little tablets left. I've got two here and then we've got three left in the bottle. As you can see, the bottle actually comes with 60 tablets, but we've taken so many of them. We barely have any left and that makes me sad but uh, we will be buying some more of this and I just can't recommend it enough. This is a great uh, organic medicine. All right, now the last health and wellness product that I wanna show you guys are these Citra Green Effervescent Wheatgrass Tablets. And the reason that I love these tablets is because they are packed with vitamins and minerals that are good for your body. They've got B12, B6, calcium, iron, magnesium, and just so many other good nutrients in them. They're just fantastic. And so what I'll do is I'll take a tablet and I'll dissolve it in water and then I'll just drink that as I go about my day. The actual drink itself has a nice light citrusy flavor, but to be completely honest, this is not something that I wake up um, looking forward to having. Like, it's not like looking forward to having coffee or tea in the morning. It's not like that at all. This is something that I know that I am having for my health and that makes me feel good. And so I am just really enjoying these citra green tablets. I'm gonna go ahead and open up the box now and just take one out and show you what they look like. All right, so here is the tablet, and as you can see, it is quite big, but like I said, you just dissolve it in water, and it's got no artificial colors, flavors, or preservatives in it, which is fantastic. So I'm taking Citra Green for my health, and I just wanted to share about it with you guys. Now finally, I want to show you guys the phonics curriculum that I will be using to homeschool my son David this year. This is the foundational phonics curriculum that you can find online at littleseedlingspress.com and I'll also have that website linked down in the description box below. Now these books are beautiful. I love the images on the front and this curriculum was actually created by a mother which I think is amazing because putting together an entire curriculum is definitely no small task. So we are excited about using this particular one this year. As you can see, there are two books. Book one is Letter Mastery. And I think we're gonna go through this book fairly quickly because a lot of it, especially at the beginning, is going to be review for David. Now book one is a pre-reading course in letter and sound mastery. And I'll just go ahead and flip through some of the pages for you guys. For reference, my son David is seven and he will technically be doing second grade this year. He's doing pretty well with his reading. He um, made a lot of progress in his reading last year, but um, I think he's going to uh, be an even better reader this year after we go through both of these books. And we've already worked a little bit in this book, um, just right at the beginning. I just flipped over those pages because I'm just kind of flipping around here. But um, we worked a little bit in this book already um, this month and David actually really enjoyed it, which I am very happy about. And um, we, however, we are officially gonna be starting our homeschool year in September, probably the second week of September because this month, the month of August, we are going through a pretty big life change and it's just gonna be a really busy month for us. So I thought it would be wise to go ahead and wait to officially start our homeschool year until September. So that's what we're gonna do. So this is book one. And now book two is Word Mastery. And book two is a first course in Word Mastery for reading, for excellence in reading. So that sounds good. Go ahead and flip through this book a little bit for you guys as well. So as you can see, this curriculum is very well done. Very well done. And I am just really excited about digging in this year. So that is the foundational phonics curriculum 
and we're looking forward to getting started on these books next month and that's it for this video guys i hope you enjoyed uh, the video i hope you guys are doing well and i'll see you in the next one bye bye